1 Corinthians 7 verse 2 1 Corinthians 7 2 But since there is so much immorality Each man should have his own wife Sabi niya Ay kung puro na lang kalaswaan na nasa isip niyo Mas maigi na lang mag-asawa pa ngayon Hello Sabi ni Paul Mas maiging binata Kasi wala ang hassle Pero kung nasa isip mo, gustong gusto mo ng makasawa, ganito, puro na kalaswaan na sa isip mo, makasawa ka na nga lang, hindi na kita pipigilan. Hello? So binawi ni Paul. Sabi niya, because since there is so much immorality, each man should have his own wife, and each woman her own husband. So dapat may asawa ka daw. Sabihin mo nga sa katabi mo, hindi ako nagkamali na mga isyo magkasawa. Para hindi makapag hindi hindi makapag sabi yung may kasama. Nagkamali yung mga kapag decision. Walang masabi. Walang speechless. So, nasabi ko ni Paul, nasabi ko ito ni Paul to the church in the Corinthians because in the Corinthians church there are most of the people there, they are living in an immoral life. Nasa immoralidad ho ang mga tao, mga binata, mga kadalagangan, may asawa, mga patot sa may asawa. They were there, they're living in an, in, in an immoral life. And uh, in other words, they are, they are committing the word fornication. Alam niyo ba yung word na fornication? Fornication is having sex before marriage. And in our generation right now, people not only uh, committed sin of fornication, but they are they have also committed the they call the sin of cohabitation. So common yung dalawa na mga tao in our present age they, they live they committed sin ng cohabitation. Ang cohabitation ho, ibig sabihin, live in. Cohabitation, nakikipagpisan ka na hindi ka kasal. That's cohabitation. And fornication, you are having sex with somebody that you are not married with. So itong dalawang klaseng sin, cohabitation and fornication, is commonly here in France. At hindi lang dito, noon pa yun. Noon ang kapanahonan. So, ito ho ang, uh, kaya ho tina, tina, tinalakay ito ni Paul, dahil ayaw niya, um, he doesn't want the people, the breathless, to, to, to live in this kind of life. And when I, when I arrived here in France, from Saudi Arabia, it was 2000, year 2001, it was seven years ago. I also committed the 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 word cohabitation. Why? Because when I arrived here, my my wife she is my fiance. We are already engaged to get married. And then, pagdating ko right away, we process our documents for for our marriage. Don sa Marseille, Marseille sa sa marriage ng Marseille. But we cannot afford each other. She cannot let me somebody to, to stay in somebody's place. For example, if she has a friend, na babae din, madalang naman kay bigyan ng lalaki, delikado, baka makuha pa ako sa iba. <laughs> Sabi niya, pinaghirapan ko itong ilubod sa Panginoon. Tapos patirahin ko sa iba, dito ka na tumira. <laughs> <laughs> Alam mo yun, when you are you when you are praying na mag nagmamadali kami sige na kailangan makasal na tayo excited na tayo saan ba ako titira dito ka na lang tumira So we during that time we we are not exempted with the with the sin of cohabitation kasi marami yung nagkaroon ng live in but we did not intend to do it because Unlike the other reason that they are, they are only living in because they, they do the trial and error married life. Kami, we, 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 we cohabitate because our, pra, our documents are ready in the process right away. 
So in few months na nakasalo kami at uh, for the glory of God, uh, hindi na kami namuhay ng uh, ng cohabitation. Kaya in the church na kinabibilangan namin, you cannot stand here in front kung ikaw ay worker, hindi ka pwedeng mag maglingkod na may kalibid ka. You cannot even present here in front of the church when you are living in to some nag nagpaglibid ka ng ng mga hindi kakasal. So it's very very strict. So uh, those are the things na nangyari couple of years ago and I do believe that this message is is in in right in time because God is not allowing us to live a life na makipagkohabitay tayo. Makipaglibin tayo. Amen? Now, and, uh, yung pangalawang sin, yung tinatawag na fornication. Maraming hindi alam na ang fornication ay kasalanan pala. Brother Noel, Brother Romani, Brother uh, Orville. Fornication is a sin. Fornication is not limited only for men, but also for women. It means, if you are going to have sex with other men, kung hindi ka pasal, you have already committed sin against the Lord. And most of the time, ang mga bias dito mga lalaki. Hindi o. Tama hindi? Hindi. Sabihin ng isa, ibaling nakipag-date ako kay, ano, pinataw pa naman ako, yung means you are not married yet. Pinata pa ako na ipag-date ako kay X, Y, and Z. And I'm having, I'm having fornication with her. Kaysa ang babae, kapag nagkapag-commit ng fornication, nasisira na yung kanyang purity. But it's not true. Nasira man ang purity niya, ikaw din when you committed fornication against X, Y, J, or A, B, C, D, F and then ang mga mga say you still committed fornication may kasalanan ka rin and that sin sometimes the man cannot accept kapag ang kanyang asawa ay nakapag-commit ng fornication sabi na doon sabi doon sa Isaiah 43 tingnan naman natin sa Isaiah 43 Tinanaw natin sa Isaiah 43. Verse 18. Sabi doon, Isaiah 43, 18. Chapter 43, verse 18. Sabi doon, Remember ye not the former things, neither consider the old things. The things of old. Ito sa NIV. Forget the former things. Do not dwell on the past. Ito sa sa God God's word translation. Forget what happened in the past, and do not dwell on the events long ago. Sa mga kasawa, if one of you committed fornication, ang guilt nandul sa loob. Kaya ang guilt mo, pinapasa mo sa partner mo. Hello? Minsan kung gumawa siya, gumawa ka rin, pero sinisisi mo lang siya. Hindi mo sinisisi sarili mo. Hello? Minsan, puro ka turo ng turo, ikaw kasi. Ang sabi ng mga tao, ikaw din naman kasi, parehas lang naman tayo eh. Okay, yeah. Living a life na nagkaroon ka ng fornication is a sin. It's time, if you are that person, it's time for you to repent right now. It's not too late, my dear brothers and sisters. Ang, ang cohabitation and fornication is a big sin. And it's, a, it's really a big sin in the sight of God. Kaya sabi doon sa Isaiah 43, Kalimutan mo na ang nakaraan at harapin mo ang bukas dahil may, mayroon akong mas bagong ibibigay sa iyo. 